Say, Cal, what do you make of this place? It's not too shabby. Lots of potential. Yes, well, anything has potential if you squint hard enough. What about you? You seem to spend a lot of time here. What do I think? I'll lay it out for you. This place violates about two dozen business fundamentals, giddily deploys false advertising practices, and is riddled with moles I daren't investigate. And yet, it serves drinks and doesn't close its doors when the Bedlam Raiders march into town. That's more than you can say for any other establishment on this rock. See you around, Cal. How'd you like playing on Coruscant? At first, I loved it. Dunder City's this melting pot of all these different struggles. A real vivid place, you know? After a few months of small gigs, though, I got bumped up to the popular clubs. Didn't take long for me to start hating it. Not your scene. It wasn't a, a conversation, you know? Those crowds just wanted to be able to say they'd seen the next big thing. Sounds like you were really on the rise. Well, my agents were ambitious. Scored me a deal that could have had me on billboards all over the court. But I said no. That takes guts. Well, so does slicing up raiders. But you gotta do what you gotta do, right? DD, throw me that sample again. Okay, what should we listen to? So you're a fortune teller? Not exactly. Though prospectors do ask me to read the planet's fortune from time to time. They want you to tell them where to mine, right? Exactly. But my gift is not so precise as to provide specific locations. What I see, I share. It is up to them to interpret my visions as they see fit. Sojourner, you smell of smoke and sand. I should take another shower then. Talk to you later, Too Locked. Go back. Perceptive. Also not as dumb as I first thought. Thanks. Go on now. I'm busy. A private table. All right then. Whoa, easy, Grok. Sorry about my friend here. He's just a little guarded. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Name's Dana. You might say my partner and I have a talent for turning opportunity into profit. I'm Cal. This is BD. Noisy little thing. We're thinking of heading to Dredger Gorge. Ever been? Once or twice. I'd be careful out there. That's gang turf. Gang turf? Grok! Sure it ain't that bad. The hell I'm risking my neck on gang turf. <laughs> hey, it was great meeting you, Cal. Got some business to discuss with my old pal here. <laughs> Come on, BD. What? So how'd you two meet anyway? I all started with this Merc crew I joined. Grok had been... And recruited a few months earlier. On account of my good looks. That's right. Mm, and me on account of being the smoothest thing since Hut Blubber. Anyways, things were good until our outfit tried to pull one over on the Empire. So we... We took off and started our own thing. The rest of the outfit ended up dead or in prison. With the car, Grok! I was telling it! Kid doesn't need our whole life story. Uh-uh! 
point is, Grok and I realize that we're better off just the two of us. We know the feeling. Talk later, buddy. The Bedlam Raiders have been awfully quiet, striking up much less trouble than usual. That's the good news. And the bad news? Rumor has it they're lining up behind a new leader. Know anything about that? Dag and Gera. Rava serves them. Huh. Figures. Cubba just can't catch a break. Watch yourself out there. You do the same, Mosey. Hey, Monk. You look tired. Take a load off. It was good to see you. You know anything about the High Republic settlement off towards the swamps? Well, of course. The whole area was devastated when the moon fell on it. You're heading there, aren't you? Yeah. Need some information from the ruins. Oh, watch your step. Rockfall is a big problem. Unless increasing your friction coefficient is another one of your talents. <laughs> that was a physics joke. Okay. Thanks for the warning. Oh, local legend holds that those ruins are chock full of ghosts. Of course, I would not believe in that kind of thing. But you tell me if you saw one, yeah? You bet. Know anything about the High Republic residences on Kobo? Oh, when I first got here, I did a little exploring of my own. I went into a place and then I heard creepy voices, and I got out of there in a hurry. I'll let you know if I hear any voices, Grease. Wise guys. Not now, Cal. I'm pretty sure Monk reorganized my entire spice rack. But I don't know exactly what he changed. But I don't hate it. Huh. Could he actually know what he's doing? After being back on the Manus, this saloon is looking filthy by comparison. Maybe some cleaning will help. I'll grab this one. Cal, I've got a question for an accomplished warrior like yourself. Say your enemies are closing in fast with blasters drawn and murder in their eyes. Uh, okay. What do you do? I focus on the moment and trust my training. Overthinking what will happen can make you freeze up. Yeah, that makes sense. But the most important thing is to know what you're fighting for. My life? Well, that's a start. I wish I could be a fearless warrior like you, but I can't. So I'm glad you're around. Hey, Zig. What's going on? Enjoying the view. Not often we get this much of a crowd of pilots. Uh, let's chat later. Welcome! You've got foes waiting! Take on old Greece. 
for you. To a pretty good start here, buddy. All right, ready to do some gardening? Let's plant this here. Always having visions of the future. Wait, I'm getting a premonition. What is it? In her future, Tulak will quit fortune telling and get a real job. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have any friends? We tried. Honest. But it never worked out. Vork, death by a runaway land speeder. Drillo died trying to ride a Garaco. Trunkuka, incinerated juggling thermal detonators. Seems like everyone who tries to be your friend dies. 
Not everyone. Patar left because he got a job off work. But then he died when his shuttle crashed. Not our fault. So long. Huh? Come on, Neko. We should be getting pretty close. I don't see anything like a settlement. That's the way through. Let's do it. Let's go, BD. Back to it. This place is in ruins. Done. Name's Cage Vander. This mud scuffer picked up your trail outside the outpost. Cal. Sounds like you've been watching us. Oh, we've all been watching Cal. Not every newcomer introduces themselves by taking down one of Ravis's boys, which, by the way, nice touch. Love a big entrance. 
Thanks. So what do you want? <sighs> what I want, Cal, is to reward you for every one of these that you take down. Not the only one who came to Kobo for a little peace and quiet. Take these off, bounty hunters. And I'll trade you something nice. So he was Haxian Brood. More bound to be on the way. Exactly. Lucky for you. I've got eyes and ears about. Drop by the saloon. And I'll help you get a jump on those hunters. All right. I'll think it over. Everybody's got rockets except me. Not a bad find. Come on, buddy. We still gotta find Dagger. Let's retreat. Feel the planet and everything connected. Then reach out. I think I. I there! I, I felt it! Just so. Very good, Parawan. So you didn't feel like helping me out there? For free. I don't think so. Pretty smooth moves back there. Thanks. You might make a decent bounty hunter. Still here? What are you looking for? I'm not telling a bounty hunter. Retired bounty hunter, I said. But suit yourself. I wouldn't tell you either.
will this piece of junk work? Maybe I'll just smash this stupid thing apart.